Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Animate to do a simple frame by frame animation. Frame by frame animation is one of the easiest kinds of animations to create using Animate. So let's get started. I'm going to play the finished sample animation here. Uh, you can see that at the beginning, there's a countdown three, two, one, then blast off. And then the ship that's rotating here in the lower right takes off and uh, leaves the screen at the upper right. Three, two, one, blast off, and it takes off and leaves the screen. You're going to be creating that exact animation in Adobe Animate. So let's get started. From the home page here in Animate, you're going to create a new document. You can either click Create New here or go File, New from the menu. From the dialog, go ahead and choose standard 640 by 480. And let's change the frame rate to 20 frames per second. And the platform type should be Action Script 3.0. Click Create. It creates a blank new document. Let's go ahead and save this right away. We will save as. And let's call it Blast Off and hit Save. The first thing we're going to do is create the ground in the lower section. So let's choose the rectangle tool. Let's change the fill color to just a simple gray and choose the stroke to black. Using the rectangle tool, click and drag and make a rectangle that fills the lower one quarter of the stage. Go ahead and select the rectangle by double clicking on it. Change the stroke size to five. We're going to go ahead and change the name of this layer to the word ground and lock the layer. Next, we'll add the rocket ship. Let's go to assets, default, animated, and let's search for the word ship. You'll see the rocket ship here appear. Let's drag it onto the stage. When you drag an item from the Assets panel, it automatically adds a new layer for that, so you now see the layer Rocket Ship. It is also automatically added 85 frames to the timeline. The ship's a little bit big, so let's drag it into place. Choose the Free Transform tool. You can also press the Q key to get the Free Transform tool. Hold the Shift key as you drag one of the corners. Let's make it about that big. Drag it down so it's sitting right down here on the ground. Next, let's go ahead and take the rocket ship layer and drag it below the ground. This will now cause the flame to be hidden behind the ground, which makes it look more realistic. Now we're ready for the countdown. We need another layer. So let's uh, select the ground layer, then click the plus here to add a new layer above the ground layer. Let's double click on it and call it the text layer. This is where we'll put the numbers and the words that appear in our animation. Let's choose the text tool. Let's also go up to the text menu, choose size and 72. Now click in the upper left area of your stage and type the number Three. Let's highlight that number and change the color to red. Now we need to add some more time to our timeline. So let's go out to about frame 150 and go ahead and click on frame 150 of the text layer and press the F5 key. This adds frames to that layer. Click the next layer down, which is ground. Press F5 again and click the bottom layer, which is rocket ship, and click F5. F5 is the shortcut key for adding frames to your animation. Now we need each of these numbers, three, two, one, to appear on the screen for one second. And since our animation is 20 frames per second, let's go out to frame 20 on the text layer, click it, and now press F6. F6 is the keyboard shortcut for adding a keyframe. When you've added a keyframe, you'll see on the timeline a little black dot. A keyframe marks a point in the timeline where something in the animation changes. And in this case, we're going to change the number 3 to a 2. 
So still using the text tool, click in here and change three to two. Go out another 20 frames to frame 40. Click F6 to add a keyframe. Using the text tool, change the two to a one. All right, let's just test our animation now to see what we have. Press the preview button in the upper right. Perfect, you see the numbers counting down from three to one, one second per number, and our animation rocket ship is just spinning. That's because the rocket ship has its own animation. Next, we need to see the word blast off appear on the screen. So let's go out another 20 frames to frame 60 on the text layer. Press F6 to create a keyframe. Take our text tool, double click here, and write blast off. Take the move tool and drag it to the right so it's all on stage. Next, go out and click on frame 80 of the text layer, right click, and choose insert blank keyframe. By inserting a blank keyframe, we cause everything on that layer to disappear. So the word blast off has just disappeared. Now it's time to make our ship blast off. So on the rocket ship layer, on frame 80, go ahead and click on the frame and press F6 to add a keyframe. Again, when you add a keyframe, what you're doing is making a copy of whatever is on the previous keyframe, and you're copying that forward to the new location, in this case, frame 80. So now we have a new copy of the ship here at this point, and we're gonna start moving the ship. The first thing we want to do is make it look like the ship is shaking. So let's take the free transform tool. Again, press Q as a keyboard shortcut and put your cursor near one of the corners and you'll see the rotation icon and simply rotate it to the right. Now press the F6 key again and you'll see a new keyframe has been added to the right of that. Rotate it back to the center, press F6 again rotate it to the right, press F6 again, rotate it back to the center, and press F6 again. We are now doing frame-by-frame -frame animation. We simply make a new keyframe, move our object, and then make another keyframe and move the object again. Now we're ready for the ship to start moving up. So now let's take the selection tool and simply move the ship up a little bit. Press F6 again, Move the ship a little bit more, press F6 again. Now, as the ship begins to move up, we want it to appear as if it's getting smaller. So let's open the transform palette by going to Window, Transform. With the ship selected, at the top we can see the percentage of the current size. I'm at 32.9. Make sure that the lock icon is turned on and go ahead and reduce the size by about two percentage points. So I'm gonna go from 32 to 30. When you do that, you should see both the width and the height change, and the ship gets a little bit smaller. That's what we wanna see. Let's press F6 key again, move our ship up a little bit, reduce the percentage again by about 2%, so go to 28%. Press F6, move it up a little bit more, Reduce by 2%. And just continue this process as we move the ship up and out of the stage. After the ship gets to be about 20% of its original size, uh, you can stop reducing it. And let's just begin to move it now up and towards the upper right corner. Again, move it and then press F6. Okay, let's go ahead and test our animation to see what it looks like. Press the preview button in the upper right. It looks awesome. All right, we're just about done. We need to add a title to the end that says the end. So let's go over to about frame 120 on the text layer and insert a keyframe. Remember that's F6. Now, because the previous keyframe was blank, this keyframe is also blank. So we're just gonna click on it here, go over and grab our text tool, 
click in this area and type the end. Center it in the middle of the stage. And now that we've added something to that keyframe, we see that it's no longer blank. We now see the black dot. Okay, that should do it. You've now completed your entire animation. The last thing we want to do is turn it into an animated GIF. Choose File, Save, then File, Export, Export Animated GIF. I can see that the GIF, when created, is going to be about 500 kilobytes. That's a perfect size. So let's hit save. It will be called blastoff.gif. Go ahead and hit save. There you go. You've created your very first frame by frame animation in Adobe Animate. I hope you've enjoyed this process. See you next time.